Hey everyone, I'm gonna let you know. This is gonna be a long ass trigger video. A trigger video, like me talking about my life, and there's gonna be triggering moments. So let me just do a trigger warning now. May contain triggering content. May contain triggering content. May contain triggering content. Okay, now I got that out of the way. Let's start it. Um, I kind of lost it last night. Everyone has different triggers, okay? I understand that now. Some may be just like a knife or a razor, stuff like that. For me, it's pieces of elastic, like the long, thin, stretchy kind. That kind. I just like that. I just can't. Like, I found a piece of my desk last night and I just tried to stop it like, 600 times. I can't remember. It's just like, it's just like a six million times. And then since I was already out of control, I just started to scratch the little shit out of it. And my whole head hurting. And I took off like a whole layer of skin. Yeah. Um, so now I can really start getting my hand washed. You guys don't know I moved my hand around and I've been careful to keep my hand like this. But I've already had to restart it once because before I finished the story I turned to my wrist. But now that I finished the story I don't have to worry about it because you all know it's coming. Yeah. Sorry, guys. So now I can just kind of do my hand movements and I don't have to worry about it because you all know it's coming. And I gave a huge trigger warning at the beginning, okay? Okay. Anyways. Um. Right now, I'm just kind of like. I'm not sure. I came to school. I had. This is an eyewear. Bracelet. And I had a third red one. It's like Paramore. But I had to give it to Lizzie part of my story, and so the whole day I only had two, and it really covered the damn day. I have a third one I'm going to wear tomorrow, because she took it, but well, I'll explain why. Um, but, you know, during I'm out of school, my, so with both Helen and Dude, I saw the bracelets, and they said, oh, those are cute. I don't know, I thought they would, the second they saw the bracelets, they would have keyed on and look under them. They did. So I was like, okay, this is cool. Maybe I can get away with this. You know, maybe I don't have to tell them. So, blah, 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 blah. I go to the house, and then I come back to the house. I come from back house, and I go to Liz's locker to go say hi, you know. Because we do this like Cosmetics, so I had to go to my locker anyways, and I see her, and I'm like, ah, oh, Lizzie, give her a big hug like I always do. And she bursts up crying. I'm like, Lord, oh no. She got a detention. So she was crying. And a detention wasn't her fault. And she's a really big goody two shoes and has not ever gotten a detention before in her life. And she thinks she's not going to go to college because she got detention and she has too many tardies. Yeah. Trying to be comforting, trying to be helpful. But it comes to the point where if I hear one more fucking time that you're not going to college, I'm slapping the shit out of you because you know what? You're going to college, and if you're not going to college, what the hell's going to happen to me? Yeah, think about that. My grades are worse. I, I've gotten three detention. I mean, come on. Seriously. If you're not going to college, what's going to happen to me? Exactly. And because she had gotten the detention and she was upset, she had stretched herself. Um, she was just really easy, so she had a lot of bruises. I was like, great, we're both emotional wrecks right now, it's going in low. So, you know. la di da di da Life is wonderful, isn't it? So I gave her the her pair more bracelet, because it was hard to begin with. And she needed something to cover her stuff. So and I'm like, mine are a lot worse, so now they're completely visible to the real one. So I was just kind of like, okay, this is wonderful. I'm sorry, it hurts, so I'm just looking at it, trying to get it to stop hurting. <laughs> so, then we go to chemistry, and she's still crying. And I'm trying, you know, for the first time, she's getting the senior stuff in the room. So I'm trying to calm her down, trying to get her to stop crying. And that whole group, Kenny and Jen, all of them, are in the back of the room. Kenny and Jen and Angie, they're in the back of the room, sitting there, laughing and giggling and talking about us, when we're sitting right there. And I'm trying to comfort my crying friend. Okay? That is not the time to be laughing point about people. Seriously. So I um and so um went to the 
So then I had to move back to the room because that's where my seat is. And Angie's like, what time is this eight? And I just kind of, I'm like, I don't talk to weird people. I'm sorry. Because I was pissed. And I was trying to stay calm. I was like, I, just don't talk, I don't talk to weird people. I'm sorry. And Kenya, who's African American, goes, goes, what do you mean you don't talk to those people? He's saying you don't talk to black people? That's not blah, blah, blah. You're racist, blah, blah. And I was just like, and she raised her hand and goes, Mr. Kowski, Mr. Kowski, Mr. Kowski, Mr. Kowski. Alina's on the race. Alina's racist. She, she said you don't talk to those people. She's saying, and I'm just like, oh, my God, I said rude people. And so Mr. Kowski sent me in her to the office. I'm like, great. Here I am. My wrist is barely covered. I'm like, great. Now I have to go to the office. This day sucks. So, I'm just kind of like, great. this is wonderful, isn't it? So, I went to the office. I went to the Tegan's office, and we're both in there. And she's in there lying, saying they weren't, and blah, 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 blah. And I, I just lost it. I just, I full out. Just, I, hadn't, I hadn't had my time to cool down. Everyone knows I need time to cool down after a situation, or I'm going to cut you out. And I didn't so I just lost. I was like, you're lying. You were talking about Lizzie when she was right there. And I'm sat there. And I bet if you asked anyone in the classroom, they would have heard it. And so I'm saying, it's like, okay, I'm going to talk to Mr. Kowski. And you girls are going to stay here. So we're just sitting there. Poor Miss Montoya. It's awkward watch us. I know she can see because I'm sitting there like this. And I know she can see. And I honestly didn't care at this point. I'm just like, you already saw him. I don't want Yell at me if you must. I don't care anymore. Whatever. Send me away. Send me summer anyways. I'm only got two more weeks and I'm out of your control for the summer. So what the fuck ever. And I at this point and then at this point Miss Hayden about a half hour later Miss Hayden comes back up and she's like, Okay, Alina, you're gonna go down to uh you're gonna go into Sister Rosemary's room. So we're gonna Sister Rosemary room totally without freaking out that maybe like, some like Miss Cheek was waiting for me in there or something. It was just such a resume. So I was just like, okay. And so I just kind of chilled there and I journaled a little bit. And then when the bell rang, I didn't know if that was supposed to be my next class. No one told me any difference. So I just went to my next class. And lo and behold, it was Kenya. My next two classes were Kenya, actually. Isn't like wonderful? It's like, fuck my life. Seriously. Oh, and in between classes, I was like, Lizzie, I really need that bracelet back. And, um, well, she, I didn't realize that hers was that bad, and they were, so she had to keep it. And then at that point, Judah went over there, because I told, I told Liz, Lily to tell them to come find me, because they really needed, like, friends at this point. Because I was just feeling terrible. Um, so they found out, and they were, they, I was kind of pissed because they were getting mad at me, like, they were yelling at me, and I was just like, this is not what I need right now, please stop yelling at me. So, you know, after that, I went to Human Systems, and they were genuinely concerned. Like, they kept texting me about things, like, Lena Boo, what's wrong? I'm like, oh, can't text during this class. But, um, when I got there, though, there's, like, desk, like, table, 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 and now smushed together to make one big long table. And so there was a chair, and I sat down. And then Jen sat down next to me, and then Kenya sat at the very end of the table. But Miss White won this, all this, all the juniors in a row. Because the seniors were doing exam review, and when she was teaching us extra, the seniors lost days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, their exams, and then we but we have a whole but we have that the whole week. So they were like, so it's just like okay, and so she had to get so she had to move beside me, and I was just kind of like I'm not gonna do that because I seriously I knew that that would not end well. So I went, so I asked Jen, I was like, so just I didn't know I'm like, hey Jen, can you just go ahead and switch with me, please? So she switched with me and Jen's like, see, and now Kenny's like, see, she doesn't want to sit by glass people. She's racist. I'm sorry. If I know I'm having issues with you, I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, Indian, Mexican, white. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm having problems with you, I'm not about to set myself up for two classes in a row with Miss Hagen. So not happening. That is why I had switched, because I'm not about to do this for a second class in a row. I'm done at this point. So, um, so after that, the class went as well, and she was just, you know, now went off a little class, 
so then um, we had E block and I didn't hear any or see anything at first, so it was fine and dandy. Um, I had to text Togo and Duda and they finally got the whole story of what happened. And I PE and Duda magically appeared and that was wonderful. And I had lunch. Wonderful. And at lunch, you know, lunch is supposed to be a fun class. So it was stuck at lunch, so you know, I'm I'm sitting there eating my lunch, minding my own business. And then I go get food from the lunch line because my mac and cheese microwave stuff tastes like shit. So I went to go get a, a salad instead because I mac and cheese stuff. I tried to eat it, I really did, but it just tasted horrible. So I went to go get the salad. I went to go get salad. And then when I came back, here's me and then the, lot, and the magical invisible t spot where there's chairs. Like we have long tables and like half a table is mine. Like, there's me and my group, and then there's, a, like, a spot where there's, like, one chair, and then there's other people. And their group. So that's what always goes. We, we coexist, and people exist. There's Kenya, sitting on their side. I'm like, are you serious? And I was on the edge of our group today. And so I was like, okay, I'm not dealing with this. So I took my salad and my tea, and I went to sit with the freshman. Because I'm not about to deal with it, you know? I was like, I'm done. I'm totally not dealing with it. She's like, see, she's moving because she doesn't want to sit with black people. See, I proved to you. And so then I was sat in the end. When I realized she moved for a couple of minutes, I was like, okay, I'm going to go back now because it feels like I'm kind of secluded over here. And I just kind of like, I'm more comfortable up there. And I still have, I'm all set up over there. My person stuff's over there. So I'm going to go move up back over there. I sit down. Two minutes later, I kid you not, Kenya comes back. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, now watch, she's going to move. She's like, she doesn't like that black. I'm like, I'm just going to shout to her at this point. I don't care, you're black. I almost forget your color most days. I just don't feel like fighting with you right now. Cause I'm tired and mentally exhausted. So go away. I mean, I don't, I didn't care. I don't care if she's black. If she was white, Mexican, Asian, Indian, I don't care. I would still move, okay? It's not the color, it's the person I'm fighting with, okay? And I don't care less about your skin color. So, I'm just kind of like, whatever. And then she's still shouting to help come from the hallway. So, nothing really happens the rest of the day. And then I'm just going to talk to Miss Hagen after school. And I talked to Miss Hagen, and then Liz said something else about failing. And she started crying again over her grade, over not going to college. And I just kind of like, at this point, I'm like, I'm done. Like, my patient span is worn out. No, and then my sister, of course. I'm a loser. I lost the election. I'm a loser. You're not a fucking loser. You're, you just, you know, you you just lost the election because it's a popularity contest, okay? You're not a loser. It's a popularity contest. I'm sorry, princess, okay? Like, it's just like, I'm done. My poor sister, at this point, my patient span was just gone. Like, seriously, my patient span was just like, and now I'm just kind of done. You know, I'm I'm just done. So now I'm just kind of chilling in my room. Really just trying to, like, just chilling, like. And I'm sitting here alone, not talking to anyone besides Judy, because if I do, I will probably kick their ass. And I will probably cut them out. So, yeah. Anyways, if you try to message me, I probably won't reply to it tomorrow. And all you trolls out there, seriously, do not mess with me right now, Okay. If you want to mess with me, fine. Bring it on. But your funeral, I will not nicely delete your comment and block you. I will, I will fight with you. That is the kind of mood I'm in today. Is I will fight with the trolls. Okay. So don't be trolling me, cause I will fight with you. Okay. Now I hope this uploads, cause it's 14 minutes. Okay. Bye guys. Thanks for watching this whole thing, and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day.